Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be another trash talk video. Now normally, when you see me getting ready to do a trash talk, this bin is super overflowing, but I've decided that from now on, once a week, every other week, I'm not committing to once a week because life happens, life gets crazy, and I don't get to film once a week, but when I feel like my bin is at a good place and I have time, I'm going to sit down and film what I used up. And I think these videos are super important because this might smell great on cold, but really, how did it perform my house? Did I, how did I use it? Did I like it? Would I repurchase it? Again, all those things are super, super important when it comes to home fragrance. And as a home fragrance enthusiast, lover, expert, um... I know what I'm talking about and I know what works and what doesn't. So, without further ado, let's get into my empties. Always, let's start with the candles. Let's start with two super womp womps. So, these are the first candles that I can share on this channel that I can say I put them in the candle crock. I did purchase a candle crock and if you're unfamiliar, a candle crock is basically like a hot plate warmer but it's contained and looks like a miniature crock pot that you can melt your candles in. So if they're not performing or they're sooting a lot or you just can't smell them, wicks, etc., throw them in the candle crock, you get great performance from them most of the time. These two candles were both strawberry candles from Yankee Candle. This one was Sweet Strawberry. Now this traveled from my old apartment too. I got this at an outlet. Love the scent. It is candy-like artificial strawberry, but I do really like the way that it smells and sometimes you're just craving that type of scent. But it didn't perform at the old apartment. Let it sit, tried it again here. It did not perform here. And it was just the flames were so low. So finally I'm like, you know what, screw it. I stuck it in the candle crock, so the wick is completely fallen in. It's done. It performed okay. I have my candle crock in my laundry room because I'm not just not sure exactly where I want to put it yet. Ideally, once I get um, my living room or my dining room completely furnished, I'm probably going to put this on like the bar cart, the candle crock, so that way in the dining room there's a lot of movement and the candles will perform well there. But for now, it's in the living or it's in the laundry room. This was okay, I could smell it, but I would not repurchase it. Yankee Candle for me is very hit and miss. All right, this fragrance I loved. This is White Strawberry Bellini, and again, it did not perform. This one has a huge sinkhole in it from the crop, but it was not performing. The flames were getting super low. It just futzed out, did not perform. The scent to me, I don't get any like, effervescence or anything even though it says Bellini I was expecting like a nice champagne strawberry I didn't get that from this all I got was like a very sweet strawberry again sort of like that candle it was okay stuck it in the crock almost like the whole candle and it might be the placement of my crock it's behind my dryer on a window seal so I'm not sure if that's what's causing the issue of the no throw but again I didn't really get anything from that in the candle crock. What I did in the can in the um what I did in the I just burned two two different packagings, one's from two years ago and one's from last year. Or is this this year? Oh this is this year and last year. Okay. Hibiscus waterfalls. You guys I didn't realize how much I absolutely loved this until I had this one burning behind me and one burning in the dining room or in the kitchen. Phenomenal, phenomenal. The notes on this are tropical hibiscus, sweet peach nectar, and fresh waterfall mist. Finished one, finished two, completely down. It is like sweet water without being like men's cologne. I think the peach nectar really brings out the sweetness of the fresh water. Oh, love this. It just performed all day. Both of them were, well, I mean, I can't say if one version was stronger than the other, but burning these in those spaces, it filled up the entire, like, main living space. 
It was so pretty. Love hibiscus waterfalls. This I think would be a great hand soap. Um, I don't believe we have this in hand soap, but I really like that fragrance. Totally would repurchase that next year. Next, lavender marshmallow. This one, it was okay. I did this in my bedroom. I really couldn't smell it. It was fluffy marshmallow, touch of lavender, and fresh vanilla bean. I love the way that it smells. It performed well. It got a little sooty, but it did perform all the way down. But I just did not get the performance from it that I would like. It was okay. But again, I would not repurchase it. It was just like a sweet lavender. Vendor Wax does it way better. And then the last candle that I finished is a single wife in a white tea and sage. And it did get very schmutzy, but um, it burned really well. Love this fragrance. It's sparkling bergamot, white tea, and fresh sage. You really get the white tea. It's very sweet. It's very fresh. And I think in a single wick, it's perfect. I don't necessarily think I would want my whole house to smell like this, but for the week that I had it going in the bathroom or a few days burning, I really liked it. It was very pleasant. It just made the bathroom smell really great. So, would enjoy this, maybe like a wallflower bulb or something, but I don't see myself like being obsessed with this and getting it in three wicks or burning it throughout my house, but it was nice. Right, now, oh, I have one more non-wax empty. I always forget to include these in here, but I finished a hand soap in warm vanilla sugar. This is the gentle and clean version. I really like this version of the hand soap. Sometimes I find that the foam soaps dry out my hands over time, but this gentle and clean is really nice, especially if you're washing your hands a lot. I had this one in the kitchen sink and I was like doing a lot of DIY projects and building and using screwdrivers and stuff and my hands were getting pretty dirty. So every couple of hours I was washing my hands and really love this. Went through this awfully quickly, but, and warm vanilla sugar, such a classic. I say in the vendor wax world, it's like getting another comeback. It's creamy vanilla and sparkling sugar crystals. Beautiful scent, beautiful, just love this scent. Really happy with this. I definitely would get this hand soap again. Starting with the Scentsy, I got through a good bit of Scentsy this week. The first thing I got through are Buzzworthy bars. I finished two bars of Buzzworthy. This is discontinued. I joined an In Search Of Scentsy group on Facebook and I bought like 30 bars from all these different ladies who were selling them. And uh, Buzzworthy, you either love or you hate when it comes to Scentsy. For me, I absolutely love it. It's like this sweet, gooey honey with sugared almonds and vanilla cream and it is just perfect decadent rich bakery i did that in this room and i did two bars throughout the whole space and it lasted two days so strong even though they're older bars this was a scent of the month with the be kind warmer a couple years ago love 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 buzzworthy the rest mm, are pretty much duds i'll be honest so I do a lot of Scentsy in my bedroom because I have two Scentsy warmers in there. Those are the only warmers I have are just Scentsy. If I want to do something else in my bedroom that like needs a hotter warmer, I'll put a tea light in there. But honestly, I did not have a great week with Scentsy. I was trying to use up older bars and I don't know if they just were too old. I just did not get throw from them. Rockin' Ruby Raz. I like the way that it smells. It's like a raspberry lollipop type of scent. Like a sweet candied raspberry, but I didn't get anything from it. Mandarin and mango nectar. I also didn't get anything from this. I also got this in the flash sale. I didn't post my flash sale haul. It really wasn't a lot of stuff, but I, in the counter clean, and I like that. It's just a very sweet citrusy mango scent. Oh my gosh, my cats. Next, Mad for Melon. This is nice. I did this when I was melting a Teddy Bee scent this week in my bedroom to like kind of compliment if the scent wafted in. And it's like a very cantaloupe forward melon fragrance. I have another clam of this. Didn't really perform. I'm thinking it's because my bedroom, I have an air conditioner in there, like a window air conditioner, because I love it super, super cold. And I think that just kills all scent. But I get great performance from my candles when I have the air on in there, so I don't know. Next, Ocean. Mm, 
Nah, it's it's too masculine smelling for me. This was from the Bring Back My Bar a few years ago. Ah, I don't like that. And now on to the license bars. Faithful Friends from Lady and the Tramp, I actually have this going now. It's like pear and apple blossom and something else. It's okay. These, does anybody, feel, I feel like the license bars, like one, all like smell the same and two, don't really perform. And for 50 cents more, I just don't think the license bars are worth it. They are coming out with Scooby-Doo though. And I love that. And that's another thing. Like the notes for Scooby-Doo are like clementine, pineapple, and strawberry. For a Scooby-Doo scent, like it should be like a graham cracker and peanut butter. I don't understand, but we're getting fruity for Scooby. Weird. But anyway, so I have that one going now. I have the Moana Spirit of Mont Montanoy. Again, just like a light fruity berry floral. Always dropping bars. And then Aladdin Three Wishes. This was so non-existent, I didn't even smell it in the warmers, but on cold, it smells like Berry Bright. Like that sweet blue raspberry candy like scent. It's okay, not a favorite. And then True Love Awaits from the Princess Collection. I actually liked this. This was like a raspberry floral. All of these have like a little bit of a floral to them. The license bars, I'm just working through my license bars because again, I don't think they're worth it. Yeah, it's like a, a light raspberry floral, which I know a lot of people probably don't like because raspberry in like vendor wax can turn floral for a lot of people. So they don't really love that. Now the one that I absolutely love, didn't realize I love, look at the oils on it for one, is the Lion King Circle of Life Bar. Now I have not seen anybody talk about this on YouTube who reviews Scentsy, and I think it's just because they're not familiar with it. This smells just like Le Labo Santal 33. Absolutely. Santal 33 is one of my favorite perfumes. It's from Le Labo. I actually had someone come up to me the other day and was like, are you wearing Le Labo Santal 33? Like it's super distinct and it's like a bright, crisp sandalwood fragrance. This is literally a dupe. It literally smells just like it. So I do have this in my club, which will be shipping next month, August 17th. So towards the end of August, I'll have a huge club order to share with you guys. But Circle of Life, yeah, it smells just like Santal 33 and I'm not mad about it. All right. Moving on to my bin. Now, I shared in my Teddy Bees haul, and, and Natalie shared too, we are doing vendor wax weeks, melting vendor wax, uh, the same vendor for the whole week, just so we can get through the stuff and make room for new. But I will say, I'm having amazing luck with Teddy Bees, amazing luck. But because this basket is uh, a mix of more than just one vendor, I do have, a bunch of other things that I will show first, and then we'll get into the teddy bees. I'm just like clearing my basket. All right, first, oh, this was incredible, you guys. This is a sample from Vintage Chic Scents, The Holiday, and this is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I did this in my bedroom in two tea light warmers. I just cut the scent shot in half and did one in each tea light. I love this. The cupcakes at Tiffany's made the blackberry jam butter cookie that much more creamy and delicious. And the blackberry jam butter cookie on warm when it melted was so good. Kirby has such a good blackberry jam butter cookie. It, you really smell that rich, juicy jam when it went, when it, um, when it got warm in the warmer. Love. I finished a Super Tarts, uh, Scent shot from the Jaws Sampler in Chomper. I don't remember. Oh, I barely smell this now. Is it like Jaws and like fresh air? Because it definitely smells like, like a crisp ozonic. I find that with the Jaws scents, like Jaws just really overpowers everything. It was good, but went and repurchased that. And then I finished a scoop from L3 in Palo Santo Zucchini Bread Vanilla Bean Noel Waffle Cone. This was, this was good. 
It was a very corn chippy zucchini bread though. And this is the first time I've ever smelled a fragrance that zucchini bread that I can see how people say it smells like a corn chip or a Dorito. This definitely gives me like a bag of corn chips vibe. And I don't know if it's because of the palo mixed with the vanilla bean and the waffle cone, but yeah, it definitely gives me like, interesting. It definitely gives me corn chip. So would not recommend that one. All right, let's go through bags. This one I actually did in a tea light in my bathroom yesterday. It's from the bathing garden and it is mandarin blossom. <sighs> I like it, but it has that neroli note in it that smells like the frozen bath bomb from Lush, that like overpowered mandarin. I wish it would smell more like mandarin orange, but I did this in a tea light, the whole sample, and it threw so strongly. I was really impressed with that. I did Summer Strawberry from Candles from the Keeping Room. This is one of her little shapes. Love this. I did this in my bedroom in a tea light. Just a sweet, succulent strawberry. I get like a hint of lemon, so almost like a strawberry lemonade. Love candles from the keeping room. Love Carol and her wax. I did, uh, oh boy, everything's falling. Okay, here we go. I did these, it's the same scent. I just had a little bunt and I had a whole loaf from L3 in Graveyard. I was not a huge fan of this on cold. It's Leaves Toasted Marshmallow Granny Smith Apples. I got this in August of last year, so it's going on a year old. But when I warmed this, I did this two different times, both in my candle room or my office. It lasted the entire day, and I don't know, it's just something magical about all these scent notes blending together. The leaves, the toasted marshmallow, and the Granny Smith Apple. This was so good. I think personally you could do this year round even though the notes all scream fall. It was just cozy and comforting. It lasted all day. I really, really liked it. It was really pleasant. I will say though, it's not one that if I saw it on the list, I'd be like, I have to get more. But I was really, really, really pleasantly surprised on how good it smelled in the warmers, if that makes any sense. I did a whole loaf from L3 in pumpkin pecan waffles. It was so funny, it was like a 100 degree day, and I don't know, I was just really craving pumpkin pecan waffles, and I was talking to Natalie, and I was like, guess what I'm melting today? And she goes, um, it's 100 degrees outside, it's disgusting, and she goes, probably pumpkin pecan waffles. Yep, sure was, and I loved it. I loved every bit of it, I did this everywhere. Kitchen, dining room, bedroom, candle room, living room. I did it all, the whole entire loaf. Burned a pumpkin pecan waffles candle. Like, I was living for the pumpkin pecan waffles vibes this day. So, really excited that I got through a loaf. Love pumpkin pecan waffles. L3 does have a good one. But I find that every vendor has a pretty good dupe of pumpkin pecan waffles. It's, it's a dupe oil, so it's all going to smell the same. It's just whatever... Uh, wax and oil ratio they use but really really like that next we have Kirby the cinephile from vintage chic scents and this is Skittles house blend strawberry lemon orange grape lime and a dash of cotton candy this was a heart I cut it into four pieces I did it two different times in my bedroom really liked it wasn't super super strong but it did smell like Skittles like truly like Skittles that was really crazy Next, let's get all the Rose Girls out of the way because I have a good bit of Rose Girls. I have Campfire Marshmallow Saltwater Taffy and Cup of Cake. These were each her little um, chunks and I did one in each tea light. This was okay, not really strong. So lavender Linen and Sweater Weather. This was okay. I did it in my kitchen and it just left the kitchen smelling very fresh. I wouldn't say that the Sweater Weather made it feel fall-like mixed with the Lavender Linen. And then Fire Mario. This, you guys, I did in my bedroom. This I got in February of this year. I finally had to just change out the warmers and like, I knock Rose Girls a lot. I don't like the wax. I don't like the way it performs. But this one three days and I finally was like okay it's in my bedroom I'm done like I don't want this coffee scent anymore I was sick of it so 
it's super strong. I need to find out what espresso oil she uses. So um, if anybody knows or I can find it from a vendor because that espresso oil blew me out of the house. All right, oh, blew me out of the house. Strax acid bath. Um, this was disgusting. This was Boogie Be Gone Peppermint and Rosemary Mint. I put this in my warmers, turned them on, went to work an eight hour day, came home. I could smell it at the bottom of my steps. I just wanted to use it up. I, at this point, like it was in my collection since June of last year. I'm never gonna use it. I think I got recommended this by somebody and I don't know why I bought it. Oh, it smelled just like Vicks. I could not do it, it was gross. All right, let's do oh, Harper James. I did Magnolia Peony. This was a whole entire brittle. I didn't get much from it. I did it two different times in my office. I didn't get anything from it. So, I don't know. This is Cherry Blossom, Magnolia, Peony, and Freesia. Loved the way that this smelled on cold, but I did not get any performance from it on warm. Both times I did it, and it's kind of disappointing. I did two cubes of each, but I still have a good bit of Harper James from that haul. I'm gonna melt through a lot of them are like coffee and warmer scents, so I'm hoping that those perform. All right, I'm just going through the, oh, I have another from Rose Girls. This is Date Night, another one I actually really like from her. This is Pink Sugar, Twilight Woods, and Biolage. This is so pretty. This was a chunk that I got in August of last year. Two different chunks, I cut them in half, did them in my bedroom, through the whole day. It was really, really pleasant. Um, just trying to figure out how I wanna do all this. All right. From Destination Wax, I did a loaf and Moon Spice cookie. I didn't do this entire loaf at once. I only had a few pieces left. This is so good. Love Moon Spice cookie. It's sugar cookies, coffee, and Celtic Moon Spice. Throws for days, super strong. Love this good coffee from her. It's, it's a classic, everybody loves it. Okay, I did Strawberry Lemonade Gelato from Destination Wax. It was one of her breakaway bars. I didn't like it which I was shocked. It's frozen lemonade, sugar, strawberries, and vanilla cream. It just was very tart for me, and I was missing a little bit more strawberry. I felt like it was just a very tart lemonade, so it was very tart. I didn't hate it, didn't change out the warmers, but would not repurchase that one. Fresh Tide from Destination Wax. This is clothes freshly laundered with Tide detergent. I did this after I cleaned all of my sheets and remade the bed really like this. This was very strong. It smelled just like Tide laundry detergent, a little too strong, but I know a lot of people like that. I did Santa Rosa, which was Palo Santo and Creamy White Roses. I think Carson really likes this one too. It's very pretty, but the Palo Santo almost leans a little bit towards cedar wood. It had a very like fresh wood smell. It didn't smell like her Palo Santo Bath and Body Works type, if that makes any sense. But I really liked it. Mixed with the white roses, it was very pretty, but you have to like rose. It's, it's just very pretty. Next, we did Vegas Showgirl. This is dishy blend of melon, pink flowers, coconut milk, and leather. Pretty forgettable, honestly. I don't really remember it. I wanted to melt like a leather scent, but I didn't have a ton of leather on hand or cured enough, so I did this. It was okay, I wish it was a little bit more leather. I did Hello Lover from Sassy Girl Aroma. I did a whole brittle, look at the label. I don't understand if it's the lemon oil or what. Cause I looked, I got this November 20th. So it's, you know, getting up there in age, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. All my other brittles from this day are fine and they're all stored in the same area, but this label just turned super yellow. Had to have been the oils. Sweet sugar cane, lemon rind, followed by hints of shortbread. This is a scent, I'll say it, I'll always say it, I don't like it on cold. It's a little bit too artificial, like cleaner lemon on cold, but when you warm this, the shortbread and that creamy sugar, oh, creamy sugar, sweet sugar and creamy corn shortbread come out. It is so pretty. I love this scent. Love it, and it's so strong, lasts forever, will always recommend it. Next is a really odd combo that I really wasn't planning on making it a combo. 
Casey's Peaches and Clean. This was a fragrance that was created by uh, Destination Wax, one of her family, friends, fa uh, friend who's turned into family. And it is an airy blend of tree ripened peaches and freshly washed linens. I purchased this loaf when she got in a car accident, Casey, and I, um, I wanted to support her Destination Wax. It was like a charity loaf. And I will say I did not get to smell this because I did from Vintage Road Candles a little sample or a little random act of kindness. It was a, it was a heart or it was a flower and I cut it into quarters in jam and toast. I did one quarter in my kitchen. Wildberry scones, blackberry jam, and whole wheat toast. I was in my bedroom and I'm like, I didn't make toast. It literally smelled like a piece of wheat toast. Absolutely wheat. Popped out from the toaster and you put rich berry jam on it. It was crazy, strong, lasted all day. I could not even smell anything in my whole apartment. That last little quarter lasted the entire day. Craziness, I cannot describe it. It lasted so long, so Vintage Road Candles, it's all I've ever tried from them, but I need to try more, that's for sure. Moving on to my Teddy V's. I have a few things which I never really do put half empties in, but I was melting a lot of Teddy V's, so I wanted to share that with you. Three non-empties and then the rest empties. I don't really ever do that just because I just don't. I like to just finish them and talk them, but since I was doing Teddy B's, I just decided let's do it. All right, the first one. I see a lot of people like say Teddy B's is very hit and miss for them. And I was like, oh, I just need to melt some Teddy B's before I spend all this money. You guys, I had one of the best melting weeks I've had in a long time for melting Teddy B's. I just can't describe it. Like. I had such good days, I had my air on because it was warm, smelled up the entire apartment all day. It was insane and the scents were beautiful. So after my latest haul, I have no issue going into this RTS. So out of this whole entire week, I had one dud. The entire week, one dud, and the one dud was pink embers. Let me know your experience with pink embers. Now, most of these are chunk bags and souffles. I want to get use up the chunk bags just because it looks like potato salad tubs are the new future of Teddy Bees, and at least for now, so I want to use these up. But anyway, and these are going on almost a year. Pink embers, pink sugar, sugar cookies, peppermint, vanilla, and marshmallow fireside. I love it on cold. I absolutely do. It is a pink sugar peppermint, but you truly smell like the peppermint candies and the rich toasty marshmallow, like the toasted part of it. But I just did not get anything from it. I had four cute, four chunks, and they were big chunks, cut into pieces. Now, I cut my teddy bees like every other wax. I found that even if they're super small, it doesn't make a difference, or they're super large. I think cutting it normally, so like for example, Chunks are hard because all of our chunks are such different shapes, but like a souffle, I'll cut into six pieces. And the six pieces get me six warmers, great throw the entire day. So I see some people say they get like 20 pieces out of a souffle, I don't know how, because you have to put at least a quarter to a half an inch of wax in your dish to get a throw. And if it's so little, the oil will burn off like almost instantly, so I don't know. but. Pink embers, yep, yeah, I just didn't get anything from it. And I tried it in Sensi's, I tried it in hot plates, I tried it in tea lights. It just, it did not perform for me. So, but you don't win them all. So that's all I'll say with that. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Pumpkin peanut brittle in the chunks. Now there were six pretty uh, smaller size chunks in here. This was poured on September 27th of last year. Pumpkin, roasted peanuts, and caramel brittle Bath and Body Works type. You guys. I hated it on cold. 
I said it smelled like plastic, like the Crocs store, like rubber. It just, it did not smell good. And after smelling the true Bath and Butterwick scandal, I know it's supposed to smell like, like peanut butter on a Ritz cracker. That's what it smells like to me. This smelled so good all day, just like that candle. This is one it needs to warm. I absolutely needs to warm. I don't have any more, which makes me sad, but pumpkin peanut brittle, really impressed, really impressed on warm. I was, I was shocked at that one, honestly. Tiff's favorite bakery is another one of Drew's favorites as well. This is blackberry jam, vanilla shortbread cookies, brown sugar, and waffle cone. I love this. I have a loaf. I have another potato salad tub. Love. I also love that I've coined the phrase potato salad tub. I hear Brittany, Charity, Natalie. I've heard the terms thrown around quite a bit, but yeah, love the potato salads. But Tiff's favorite bakery, so good. If you like Blackberry Jam Bakery. It is so decadent, so rich, so true. I'm having some of the best luck with Tiff's favorite bakery. Love, I love, 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 love. Next, Trickin' and Treatin'. Now this one is purple sugar, which is pink and blue sugar, beach treats, which is beach nights, and vanilla cake pops. This smells like the truest cake pop scent I've ever smelled. I think I said this when I hauled this. It smells like a Starbucks cake pop, like the rich. So many pauses because my camera will not stay recording. I don't know why. And this, it smells like the richest icing forward like cake pop ever. The throw is not as strong as I would like it to be. I did it in my big open space. There was two huge cubes left, so I chopped it up, but I think this is better for smaller rooms, but it's really pleasant of a smell. I really like it. I like the vanilla cake. I am hanging onto this for dear life. This is one that Charity gave me, not, um, I still have a chunk bag of it. PB&J. I've heard so much controversy about this scent. Fresh made jam and peanut butter, toasted bread and drizzled honey. Bath and Body Works type. This is another candle from Bath and Body Works that I've never smelled. At least I don't remember smelling it. Erase PB&J. Just erase it. It smells like you went to a bakery and got the best bread. Like the best, most crisp bread. You put it in the toaster and you drizzled honey on it. That's what this smells like to me. I don't get peanut butter and jelly. I get toasted honey or toasted bread with honey. And it is phenomenal. I love it. It threw all day. Salt Mountain Melts also has this scent dupe, so if you know other vendors that have this scent dupe, because I don't know when Tiffany's gonna pour it again, but if it's in a pre-order, like if it's in the next pre-order, I don't think it will, but if it is, no joke, I'm ordering like five loaves. I love this scent that much, and I never wanna be without it. It is fabulous. If you've tried PB&J, and if you're one of the people that actually really likes it, let me know, because it smells like toasted honey, and I'm obsessed. All right, on to souffles. I smell fall. It's my slogan. I smell fall. Cider Lane, pecan waffles, and marshmallow fireside. One of my favorite blends from all the vendors. And it's so good. And Tiffany does a great job because you definitely get Cider Lane. It's a four word fragrance. You pick it up pretty much right away. But you get the toasty marshmallow from the marshmallow fireside. And the bakeriness from the pumpkin pecan waffles. It is. Fabulous. Oh, I love, so excited, cannot wait to get more of this. I have a loaf of it from the RTS um, a while ago. So good. Oh, another one. Like, guys, I've had such, I could talk for five minutes about each one of these. The Riverlands. Shut up. I have another souffle, I think. I have a loaf. And that's it. I need some potato salad tubs though. This scent. Palo Santo, cool mountain air, balsam, patchouli, crisp melon, cedar, crunchy leaves, and sandalwood. There must be a fly, because the cats are going crazy. This smells like 
You walk into a rainforest after the rain, the wet floor or the wet ground, the air, the leaves, the trees, the river. That's all I can say. It is magic. Now, you do pick up on melon, but not until you read it. I feel like once you read it and you see that there's melon, you're like, oh, I can smell the melon. I don't smell patchouli. Everything else though, oh. I can't say enough about the Riverlands and it's available in the RTS because it was in the pre-order. I love the Riverlands. I'm going in for a potato salad tub in it because I do have another loaf, so I think that'll be suffice, but the Riverlands is fabulous. I definitely need more of that. Next, The Long Farewell. Palo Santo Twilight Woods, pink sugar with a hint of lavender and vanilla. This was really pretty. It was very pretty. I liked it. I did it in my candle room. It lasted all day. You pick up off Twilight Woods and pink sugar. Sweet, a little bit woodsy, perfumey. The lavender and the vanilla just made it really soothing and delicious. Really liked this one. All right, let's move on to what I did not finish. This is going right now. This is a loaf in Small Town Circus. And this is caramel apples, kettle corn, funnel cakes, and cinnamon sugar pretzels. So almost like her version of like a circus concession type scent. In the bag, it's amazing. Warming, it's even better. Right away, I put this in my, I put this all throughout here, and I went in my room, watched some TV, came out, it's the cinnamon sugar pretzels and the funnel cake. Like, you truly smell the funnel cake when you're warming it. Like, they're in the fryer, they're swirling the batter in the oil, and the smells of the cinnamon sugar pretzel, that like yeasty, delicious, fresh baked pretzel with fresh cinnamon and sugar. You get the caramel apple, the nuttiness, the sweetness, and then you get the kettle corn. That sugary, pop, corny note. This is fantastic. I love this. So happy that I have half a loaf left because this is amazing. And I only saw it offered once. So happy. These guys. I can't even. The Hamptons. The Hamptons. The Hamptons. Watermelon lemonade type, salty sea air, and crisp lemon. Okay. Let me start off by saying I do not like watermelon lemonade from Bath and Body Works. I don't. It's okay. I don't like it. I think it's because for my sister's first birthday, it was outside. I bought like five of those candles and I had them burning throughout the backyard and the porch and everything. And after working for Bath and Body Works, we had that scent like pumped through the store in the summer. It was just too much. The watermelon lemonade, because it's very artificial smelling to me, but Tiffany's Magic blended with salty sea air and crisp linen. It is fantastic. And I don't smell laundry out of this at all. I have a little bit left in the tub. Now see, a lot of people complain about the mess of the tubs. I love this. I think it stays contained. I didn't use all of it in here. So I have a little bit left I can do like in a bedroom again or a bathroom. This is so good. You, you do, now that I'm smelling it more, a tiny bit of the linen, but it's very clean and fresh. The salty sea air is just refreshing. And the watermelon lemonade, surprising, blending with those other notes, was so pretty. I had this going in here with a pink lemonade candle from Bath & Butterworks Burning, and it was just, I didn't want to ever leave the apartment. It just smelled so good. I, I loved it, absolutely. And then, Satsumas and linen. I did this in the candle room. And I'm so happy that I have only a quarter. I have another loaf. I'm ordering another loaf and I have three quarters left. This is magic. Satsuma, mandarin, bergamot, exotic fruits, and fresh linen. And I mean magic, you guys. It smells just like... I say this, if you're in California, there's an orange grove and you just wash the sheets and you have the windows open and the breeze with the sheets and the oranges and the set like and it's not like it is satsuma you can tell it is satsuma and i'm not complaining i love that 
It is so good. I, I could bathe in this. Tiffany needs to start making shower gels or body sprays because this in that, amazing. I cannot believe Tiffany and her blending ability and her softness of her wax. Like, again, this is trash talk and love for Tiffany and Teddy Bees. This scent out of this world. Please, and you know what? I'm gonna say it. If I don't get it in the RTS, I'm not gonna be upset because I have a loaf. And I love this, and I'll hang on to this. And I think because it is so popular right now, she'll offer it in the pre-order for Christmas. Even though it's Christmas, you'll get it in the spring. Anyway, get it. Hunger Games it, try to get it. Satsumas and linen, you need it in your life. It is incredible, it is so strong. It lasted all day. I didn't even burn a candle, but I do think the next time I do this, I'm gonna do it in this main space and I'm gonna burn a laundry day candle. And I think that'll really create this like incredible, clean, delicious smelling vibe in here. And delicious isn't the right word because it is just fresh and clean, but it's perfect. I love it. That was my trash talk. My cats are literally running around like crazy. And update, couch did not come. It's a whole thing, won't fit up the steps. I don't understand the issue, but I ordered another couch online, so we'll see. Fingers crossed that I'll have a couch and a TV here by the fall because I have such cute fall pillows and throws and accessories to decorate the couch with, but I just don't have the couch. So, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. What are you melting this week? Did you melt any Teddy Bees? Are you having a great melting week? I sure am. Next week, this basket is going to be full of VCS or Vintage Chic Scents because that is the vendor that I'm working on next. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. Be kind. You matter. And I love you all so much. Bye, guys.